guide in this video I'm going to show you how to make this complex squares animation in KOWP. It does require quite a bit of math but I'm going to skip a lot of those details and uh, if you're interested in that leave a comment below I can show you the math behind it. But um, what we can also do with this thing ultimately when it's all said and done we can adjust the colors. Uh, we have the fast and the slow. We got the three squares the darker ones those are the slow ones and then we had this one fast one so we can change that global color for both the fast and the slow not only that we can adjust the alpha values so now you can see the fast one here i've adjusted its alpha value such that you can't see through it there's no transparency backing off of that quite a bit now you can see through that blue square do the same thing for the slow And then what we can also do is adjust the duration, how long this thing lasts. So now you can see that I've adjusted the duration. It's much slower now versus what it was before. So adjusting that down to speed it up a little bit. And then these two pieces here is where the math starts coming into play. Go ahead and create all these globals. So we have two colors, we have three number globals, and then we have this text global and another number global. For this one, I made a slide of 150, and you can see the complex animations that we're gonna to have to be doing to all of these. This is going to make these numbers that we type in our complex animations a lot nicer. Instead of us uh, picking a nice number for the size of our square, we're actually looking to make numbers in here that are easier to type in versus taking some square roots of crazy numbers and then we have long decimals. So this 150 is actually half the length across from one corner to the other corner of a square. It's the hypotenuse of a right triangle in that square. The slide number that I have here is half. So technically the hypotenuse uh, connecting any two corners of a square, the opposite corners that is, that length's gonna be 300. Now for the size of our square, this text global, is I'm reversing the Pythagorean theorem, so to speak, and uh, type that formula in right there. This is the actual width that we want our square to be. This number here is ugly, but it's going to allow us to type in nice numbers when we do our complex animations. Now before I show you the rest of the setup, I need a favor from you all. These numbers here, we have to type these numbers in manually. And uh, I did make a request or an idea over at help.custom.rocks. I'll leave a link in a pinned comment below. But ultimately what I would like to be able to do is use global variables inside of the animator instead of putting these numbers in manually. So uh, head on over there. If you like that idea, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe that can be something we may see in the future for KOWP. And since I have you here as well, the skew option for complex animations, that would be great to have as well. We could uh, take rectangles and turn them into a rhombus or something like that. Uh, and that also would help with 3D animations. So uh, if you like that idea, give that a thumbs up as well. Once you have all that set up in your globals, go create an overlap group and we're gonna work on the fast one first. Inside of this overlap group that I've called fast, it's the blue square that you see going around the screen. I have a square and this square has that global size, GV size linked to it. All of these squares are going to have that. So I'll mention that once, but when we create all these squares, they will all have that GV size applied there. For its paint, this is where I can apply the alpha and the actual global color. This is a CE function, CE for color editor. So notice I have my global color here, comma alpha, comma GV fast A. That was that number global that I could adjust the alpha of that fast moving square. Also inside of this overlap group, I have another square, same size. It's paint, the filter is set to clear and I have a stroke of 10. This is allowing us to have a little bit of gap between all of our squares. And all of our squares will have an identical setup with the exception of the colors. So these two pieces will be in every overlap group that we create. Now, still inside of fast, animation, complex animation, and we want this to loop, E set to straight, and here comes the fast one. So I have it, hopefully you can see that. I know some of these aren't gonna be as clear, but this one's not that long. This is what you want to set that animation to. Now again, uh, these numbers are a lot nicer to type in. That's why we had that funky number for our square. For duration, set that to GVDUR. That's how we can speed it up and slow it down. And then one more thing for the fast overlap group, make sure you have it positioned 
in the center. And then for your Y offset, technically this blue one that I have here, its original position is right down here before we start animating. So for the Y offset, I have it set to GV slide. So now let's focus on slow one. The slow one overlap group, we still have those same two squares. Again, uh, the only difference here is that the paint, we're not going to be using the fast, we're gonna be using the GV slow and the GV slow alpha. Same clear rectangle to give us some spacing. The position of this one, slow one, slow one is this one that you see here. Its original position is right down here as well. So notice I have the same position that I have for my fast. That's not going to be the case for the other two. For the animation for slow one, it's a loop, complex animation, E set to straight, and here is that one. This one's a little bit longer. And as you can see, that's over here. Hopefully that's clear enough for you. Duration, be careful with this one, GV dur times five. Or if you wanted to speed this up more or slow it down some, you could actually change that number right there and it would be all right. One thing to note here though, if you change this number here, make sure you change it for all of your slow overlap groups. For the slow two overlap group, same shapes. The position of slow two is originally right here before it starts animating. So I have some X offset applied and it is negative GV slide. So we had the same type of complex animation going on here. However, our animator, the stuff in here is that one right here. Duration, GV dur times five. And again, you can change that number if you want. Just make sure you change it for all of the slow overlap groups. Last but not least, slow three, same stuff. Position here, slow three is originally starting up here before it starts animating. So I have some Y offset and I have it set to negative GV slide. That's moving it up from the center. And then our last animation here, same stuff, but now you have this, which is what I have over here. So if you did this correctly, you should have this type of animation right in the center of your screen on your custom live wallpaper. When KOWP gets the ability to use globals actually inside of the animator, we can actually change the size of these squares uh, without having to go in here and retype all this stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that update if it does happen. Go ahead and make a post, a thumbs up on my request over at help.custom.rocks. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.